Okay, so in our last videos, we showed how to add an item, select item, and how to clear the combo box. In this next video, we're going to show how to remove an item, just one single item, from a combo box. So, but to do that, I'm going to add another ActiveX control, and I'm going to put in a command button here. Right-click properties, and I'm going to name this as remove item. And I'm going to show you there's a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to have it remove the item that's currently active but right now we have an empty combo box so I'm just going to add a few items test one test two test three so we have three items I'm going to select test two now there's a couple of things that you can do here in remove item I'm going to double click that we're in design mode do sheet one dot combo box one dot remove item if you notice, it's, it has a field here that says PVARG index. What it's asking for is the combo box index. So I'm just going to enter in a 1 for right now. And 1 is going to remove the item that has the index of 1, which in this case is going to be test 2. So even if I have test 1 selected, I'm going to hit remove item. Test 2 has been removed. Now let's say you want to remove the item that's currently active, which is what we're going to do next. Let me first show you some code. Under remove item, I'm going to first make this as non-executable code. Do message box sheet one dot combo box one dot list index. I'm going to play that code. The current list index is zero. If I have it on test three which is the second item which should have a list index of one click this button list index is now one so now we're just going to tie these together make both lines is not executable it's going to be sheet one dot combo box one dot remove item and what we're going to do is put the active sheet list index I'm sorry the active combo box list index we'll do so it's sheet one dot combo box one dot list index and we can do an on error resume next for our error handling and let's play this code We're, this should remove test three and leave us with test one there you have it now what you may want to do because I'm just noticing this right now Excel does not remove the text that's on the combo box because we might be like let me give you an example I can erase test one right now do backspace and we, it's blank but that's only erasing the text of the combo box it's still in the drop down list and you can reselect it so under remove item it may be a good idea to add in this line of code sheet one dot combo box one dot text equals blank now, uh, two quotes or you could do a sheet one dot combo box one dot list index is equal to zero which putting it as zero would put us to the very first item that's in the list i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching